Thanks for staying up with us for News 4 at 11. I'm Drew Wilder. In the district tonight, hundreds of people gathered to honor and remember Alante Scott, the 22-year-old who was shot and killed by U.S. Marshals in Southeast D.C. this past week. Now, they were trying to arrest him for an outstanding warrant, and authorities say Scott pulled out a gun, but his loved ones are disputing that claim. News 4's Mauricio Casillas has more tonight on the family's calls for transparency. Long live Dozens of balloons released in honor of Alante Scott, a moment that his family is touched by, but also a moment that the family wishes they never had to go through in the first place. We shouldn't be here tonight, and unfortunately, this just keeps happening. U.S. Marshals were trying to take Alante into custody for a parole violation. Documents obtained by News 4 show Alante had had run-ins with the law in the past and was wanted for vehicle theft. I knew he did not mean to make mistakes. He didn't want to make a lot of mistakes, even though he did. But Alante was a loving person. In a news conference Tuesday, MPD Police Chief Robert Conti said Alante ran away from the two U.S. Marshals trying to arrest him and later produced a weapon. The family disputes that claim, but MPD says it did recover a gun from the scene. They shot my, my son seven times in his back and in his side. Police have not provided any details on how many times he was shot or where he was wounded. And we want justice for Alante. Loved ones say he was trying to turn his life around and was at one point a part of Pathways, a program in D.C. that helps at-risk members of the community find employment. He was trying. It wasn't a situation where we were dealing with someone that wasn't there. Every program that we came to him, he fulfilled it. Community members plan on protesting outside D.C. Superior Court Monday morning as they continue to demand justice.